very, very different as a professional as the two men head centering. One a right hander naturally, one a left hander naturally. I've trained with Tommy, I've done sparring with Tommy. He's got all the skills in the world. And uh, one thing that I was critical about Tommy in his amateur days was he wanted to stand there and trade when he had all the boxing ability in the world. Just controlling that natural instinct. That's right, yeah. Well, Ariel Saratillo is going to want to fight here. He's not going to back away, and we've seen that in the opening 30 odd seconds here. Baratillo, very much a front foot boxer. He's going to be dead in, in Baratillo's line. Now, what you do see when you've got two relatively inexperienced boxers, when it's a southpaw cut here, Andy, up against a right hander, you see that front foot tangling and a lot of treading on toes. You with the sport to try and curb your neck. What about the punches? But equally, what about the clashing of heads in this round too? They're going to be sore boys tomorrow. You can see the welts on the foreheads of both young men as Baratillo goes to work. Oh, beautiful right hook from Baratillo. Tommy's in a little bit of trouble here. He is in a little bit of trouble, and Baratillo going to work, but he is doing so from the back foot and unable to generate the power. He needs to be able to try and stop Tommy Zarumi. What a round of professional boxing. This style of fight, no matter how much training you do, you're, you're going to hit a brick wall. It's, yep. And you can see Tommy's getting a little bit tired now. And, Nice wide uppercut from Baratillo. Well, if the first round was Zarumi, perhaps the second round goes to Baratillo. In a, every second in that 60-second interval, and perhaps a few extra, but I think after what we have seen in the previous six minutes, they're entitled to a couple of seconds extra rest. It's been a cracker from round one, Andy, hasn't it? Is Zarumi now centering with that straight right hand again, scoring in the early moments of the third? Oh, he's cut again, is he? Oh, yeah, and it's a good one. It's a good one, and it's from a head crush. Just before that, uh, Baratillo again with a sneaky right uppercut. Alan Moore going just a little beyond there. No gloves on as well. And that was the head clash again. You saw Barrett, huge cut. A huge cut just on the inside and above the right eye of Ariel Barrett. After two accidental headbutts, they have deemed the fight to be a technical draw.